There's no machine that can make scientific decisions. Every science is about persuading other scientists about the truth of the matter. Plate tectonics. The idea that the continents move took a long time to become persuasive in geology. It took a half a century. Um, and there are no rules for deciding whether an argument is humanly persuasive or not. It's humanly persuasive or it's not. Um, we, we have this problem in economics that we're not very philosophically sophisticated. So we don't know that it's long been a finding of the philosophy of science that there's no such thing as scientific methodology. Economists are still back in their high school chemistry course many years ago where the, where the, where the teacher told them that there was a scientific method and here's what it is. There, there are no, there's no machine you can stick numbers into and out comes a scientific conclusion. You have to decide, look, I can think of a zillion examples of this. Let's take one from the great Robert Fogel and Stanley Angerman, their book on American slavery, where they discovered from looking at plantation records that people were whipped only two times a year. I think, it, am I correct? I think it's two or some, some. Okay, six tenths of a time per year. Let's go with six tenths of a time per year. And you can say, well, that settles that question. Time out. <laughs> Suppose you were whipped six tenths of a time per year. Suppose the president of the University of Michigan, I actually know her, she was once the president of Iowa, um, brings out her whip and whips the faculty and students and staff six tenths of a time per year for malfeasance. Come on, you have to make a separate judgment. And Bob and Stan understood this perfectly well. You have to make a separate judgment about how many whippings are significant. And I happen to think that in a free society, any whippings are significant. One tenth of a whipping per year is, is significant. So truth is not in the numbers uninterpreted. If it's a nice day out in Ann Arbor, it's 70 degrees. Not this time of year, but say in spring, late spring, 70 degrees, a nice day. Well, that's right. In the context of ordinary human interaction on the earth in this era, 70 degrees is a nice day. But by the standard of the surface of the sun, it's extremely cold. By the standard of interstellar space, it's extremely hot. You gotta have a human judgment of what it is you're interested in. And interest is a human matter. Interest, what's interesting is what's interesting to human scientists, not what's in the numbers. The numbers are inputs, but they're not outputs.